going to talk about competition uh, spins. We're going to get in the aircraft, take off, fly to the overhead to about two and a half, three thousand feet, and do a two turn left hand spin. So you bring the throttle back, raise the nose to keep it level so it doesn't sink and it doesn't climb. When the aircraft stalls, when the nose drops, you kick hard with the left foot, in this case, uh, and hold the left rudder in, uh, keep the aileron as neutral, bring the stick slightly further back, and then start counting each half rotation. Half, one, one and a half, and just before two, full power, full opposite rudder, and ease the stick forward, recover from the spin, then continue to the vertical down, looking at the wingtip, so it's vertical in pitch and also your, and then listening for the speed to increase, when you anticipate that you're going to be level at 150 knots, ease the stick back into a quarter loop to level. So the actions, we're looking at the ASI, looking at the horizon, looking at the angle of attack on the wing tip. I smoothly can close the throttle so that the engine doesn't pop. And then as I do that, as the power comes back, I'm maintaining level flight. So looking at the altimeter, maintaining level flight and, and therefore lifting the nose by bringing the stick back. Okay, when it uh, stalls, which in this particular case about 60 knots, I smartly put on full rudder and bring the stick back a little bit. Now the idea of bringing the stick back is so that as the nose drops, uh, you don't actually let the stick go forward. It doesn't need to be any further back than when it initially stalled. But if it goes forward of that point, then obviously it'll unstall and the, and the spin will, will look rubbish. So having uh, brought the power back, lifted the nose up, nose drops into a stall, full rudder, stick a bit further back, maintain you put on, main, main, make sure you don't put on any aileron, uh, and then count the turn, so it's half, one, one and a half, and then to recover, it's full opposite rudder and power, stick goes forward, looking at the wingtip, and uh, get it vertical, both in your and in pitch, listen uh, for the speed, and then at about 130 knots, start pulling back, Okay, so that you're level at 150 knots. Okay, so I've closed the throttle. The speed is coming back. Um, keeping the ball in the middle keeping level flight, it's about to stall, stalling, now left rudder, back stick half, one, one and a half, opposite rudder, full power, push it to the vertical and come horizontal. From this uh, flight you can see that uh, the aerobatic spin is just a development of a normal spin and of course entry is, is very straightforward. Recovery is very predictable, so much so that we recover on heading every time. And we have a, 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 an exact knowledge of the height loss involved. Um, you can see that it's clearly something that should be practiced at length with an instructor prior to um, undertaking aerobatics uh, solo. Okay, that was the spinning exercise, is a one and a half turn spin. Um, you saw that we flew to height, we did the hazel checks, uh, closed the throttle, kept level, stalled, applied full left rudder, um, held it in there as we counted the half rotations, then full recovery is full power, full opposite rudder, looking at the wingtip, easing the stick forward, coming out in the vertical, and then coming level for 150 knots. Next lesson, we'll uh, look at inverted spins and tail slides. Thank you very much.